All right, let me show you how to use the change theme action in workflows. So I have in my libraries, I have a color for text and I have a color which is black when I'm in light mode and I have a whitish color when I'm in dark mode. And then I also have a background color where it's the opposite. So in light mode, it will be white. And when I'm in dark mode, the background will be black. And I also have a goofy app background, which is blue in dark mode and green in light mode. Okay, so that's the first thing. I have colors in my project library. Now on the page, I have this text and this text color is bound to the text color in my library. So remember when it's light theme, it will be black. If it's dark theme, it should be white. Then on my container, I have bound the color to the background color in my library. So when I'm in light mode, it should be white. And when I'm in dark mode, it should be black. And now on this container, I have a workflow. And in that workflow, I have a change theme action. And so I go and look at the value for the browser theme. So the current value of the theme. And if it's currently light, then I want to switch the value to dark. And if it's currently dark, then I want to switch the value to light. So now if I click here in preview mode, you see I switch to dark theme. And if I click again, I switch to light theme. Now I have another option here in the more tab. In the settings, I can choose, I have a default theme, uh, light and a default dark theme. So I can change the app background. I could bind the color to my app background. And here, if I go to dark, it's bound to my app background color. So now when I switch to dark mode, the app background is blue. When I switch to light mode, the app background is green. And that's it. That's how you can work with the change theme action in WeWeb.